What's up guys? This is the Rofelman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play The Kingdom of Grand Columbia. Uh, and in this episode we are effectively carrying on our mission to prep our forces ready for the invasion of Britain. And we're also going to be uh, attacking the two remaining colonies in the Americas in Newfoundland and uh, put it up the, in, towards the north and attack the Inuit people. Uh, this, these forces in Port Royal will probably take on that task. Um, I've got this garrison force down here at Trinidad, which was placed here because that was where previous factions were actually interested in invading. But I think I'd like to pro well, no, that's that's a fairly good garrison army. Yeah, it doesn't garrison armies don't have to be fancy. Um, yeah, that'll do. We've got another army up in Antigua that's replenishing. See, we do want a. I suppose we do want a, a proper. A, what, a, a sieging army in Caracas because we do have the Marathas sat right here, ready to invade. We have Spain sat right here, ready to invade. With a reasonable little navy behind it. In fact, then with my remaining money, I might make sure I'm still. Oh, yeah, my navy <laughs> recruitment is going on just fine. To the north. Let's get these second rates down to join that fleet. Let's get Louisburg working on two third rate ships of the line. Other than that, you're waiting to see where the enemy comes at us. No one to the south. Uh, everything else has been done, so I think we can hit end turn. In terms of attack, nothing on the horizon. That's fine. We're, we're in quite a good position right now. Let's hit end turn. And everyone tick on. I guess two of our armies are going to uh, land in Great Britain itself. We do have an army in uh, Lisbon, but that army will only march once. Once we have a second force starting to be a bit more built up. See, I'm always curious. Where that British army moved, I'm sure the AI can cross there without using their navy. Because I've, I've seen it happen. That wasn't the army. That was an army that was in hiding. But I'm, I'm convinced that there is a way <laughs> for the AI that the AI can do it, but I can't do it. I mean, maybe they do use ships, I don't know. But I just know that sometimes armies just pop up there when they shouldn't, really. Austria just lost Gdansk to the Prussians. There's another Marathon fleet. I mean, if the Marathons come after us, well, we may well start raising armies to go and attack... Dillon. Because if the Marathas declare war on us, we have enough financial firepower to start moving forces against them as well as invading Great Britain. Oh, they, did they wipe each other out? If they did, I'm going to yoink that trade spot. 46,000 East Indies. Oop, bit churjuddery. Yeah, they did. Yoink. Okay, trade fleet, you. Let's get you out there to take it. And then, okay, build a magistrate, let's take this fifth Vamos. rate. I don't, remember, don't really want the fifth rate to be the admiral, but it's just easier this way. Just to create a fifth rate and then start to recruit galleons. That'll do. There's no rush to get them built yet. Greater port. You're still replenishing just fine. This garrison force is just fine. A couple of these guys, they're all going to go over to re reinforce this army here. So Mexico's proven they cannot be trusted. Fleet arrives. You're here. To replace these fellows. Which means is that open? No. Yeah, this force needs to come back because they got hammered. Excellent. I think if I sit here, I can cover two. I can cover two fleets at least. Can't cover them all. So that was both our fleet arrives. Ah, you. 
get into Louisburg. Yeah, there's a British fleet in the way. Actually, that's quite a good fleet. We're going to want to move against that, for sure. So you guys get in here. Although, really, what would be useful is if we built a... Militia is still cheaper. Get a militia up here to garrison the shipyard. My sloops can get over there. Sloop, sloop. Let's take. Okay, my actually, I might just recruit a couple of sloops first. You, you're waiting for your marines. Yep, there they are. So they're all ready. I may immediately start getting ready for an extra, build an extra force. Okay, water power. I mean, we haven't got steam engines yet, but that will really start to crank up the our money production. Yeah, get some investments in Texas. Get metal roads. Okay, let's not spend the money there yet. Let's get. Just make sure our. Ah, oh, to be honest, you you can optimize it and try and make sure that you're picking wealthy ports. But this port's growing, very poor. If the town is wealthier, there will be a larger delta in the income you earn. But for the most part, once you start grading on mass, it's fine. Your you might not be good enough to square off against them. Uh, but either way, you're still replenishing, so you can't move. I don't have a surplus of sloops anywhere. Oh, hit in ten. Oh yeah, our force that's attacked Agvik took. Let's just demand the surrender because they have a, there is a British army around there somewhere. So rather than auto resolve and potentially take a lot of damage, let's let's demand the surrender, and so they join us willingly. And then our army can move out of the city and take whatever targets. It okay, right? They are using their ships. Cool. So you might have to deal with deal with their uh, armies one at a time, which is fine. They're attacking the Plains Nation. <laughs> They're attacking up here against the Inuit, while we're getting ready to build an army to invade their home territory. So, I think we're in winning the strategic race here. There's a Prussian navy. In the Netherlands, the Dutch are rebelling. Oh, the Marathas haven't. <laughs> They've elected to not make war yet. Okay, Sweden. They want an alliance. Oh, Iceland. I thought it was Ireland. I thought, I'm not giving you Ireland. What the hell? No. Once I've got Britain, Iceland can be a bargaining chip because I'll have military ship production there. But until that happens, I don't want to give it away. Uh, Sweden are recalling. Oh, right, they're just combining their fleets. Nothing to worry about there, though. Oh, the Dutch have kicked out their, their masters. Just a second, everyone. Right, right, right. Enemy raid, traits gained. Okay, so these fleets... Make a port in Cinemary. You'll probably pick up that fourth rate when it's done. 
this heavy hitter fleet could probably do with having a second port occupied by um, infantry so I can keep filtering ships in for full stacks in for repairs without having to worry about sloops getting in the way. So you're going to make repairs. Right. Let's get, let's get going, fellas. Sebastian Serrano. You're one of our top tier generals. Let's get you... I mean, that navy's moved, but even though, even so, they won't intercept us, because we've got plenty of movement. And then let's take Señor. you, with all your sí, American, Todo listo. American sí, mercenaries. Parado. So make sure you're all embarked. Señor. Make sure the agents are embarked. Zarpemos. Espabilen. Excellent. So you're going to hold for now. You're guarding the northern approach. Let's upgrade your port. You can move this sloop. Let's get these troops. Yeah, get the militia out to here. Get the troops in the north down to Boston. Get ready to start building up a second army. Okay, this navy. Yeah, you're recruiting a bunch of extra ships, so I'm not going to add any more yet. You are finished. Plenishing, so let's move you out. You're just about to hack it. Although you could do with one more turn to build a sloop. And then I think this sloop ends up. Oh no, it can make it all the way. Perfect. Let's repair the government building. You guys replenish what little damage you've taken. I kind of want them to push and siege me because I want to fight. A fighting a defensive battle would be fun. Done all that. A new nation arises. The United Provinces. New nation arises. Norway. Let's see if we can trade. Nope. No trade. Let's give Norway just a bunch of tech. Because Norway does not stick around for very long, usually. That's really cool. Let's try to keep them going. Alright, so here in Lisbon, two more units of regular old line infantry. It's interesting that Grand Columbia in the Americas recruits Colonial Line in their home theatre, but in their in Europe. They recruit line, so they very much consider themselves a colonial power, not a, a, a European power, not a colonial power. Yeah, lots of lots of garbage, but they've got a lot of it. <laughs> so I might actually send both of these when the time comes. Let's get some extra line just to sit here in garrison Portugal so that Britain doesn't catch us out. When the time comes, I will cut the land bridge so that these guys don't the, the, the land bridge block the strait so these guys can't reinforce although actually if I just if I just do that and actually they might not be able to reinforce now but I'm going to be a bit more acute let's raid Sandy Bay block the strait and then start to move so I have, mili I have military access through sweet through Spain indefinite military access perfect so you'll move up, put Gibraltar under siege, make them bring this force in to reinforce the garrison, and then we will defeat them. Uh, do we push you guys out just in case? I mean, it's very much overkill. I'm pretty sure you guys will be fine, because they've got a bunch of weak cavalry, militia. They'll all break quite easy. Yeah, we'll all be fine. Port Royal have got basic roads. Let's get cobbled roads. The Leeward Islands have cobbled roads, but we can't do anything, do anything about that yet. Well, let's be fair, you could do the... Yeah, I can actually take... 
this fleet, or this this squadron. And if they've left the port unlocked, uh, no, no, they haven't left the port unoccupied. But if they had, we could have just walked, marched in, and taken it. But bad news, Britain. <laughs> Although you, you guys are definitely dead. Because there's nothing like I can't protect you against them, unless unless I send out my battle fleet, but. My battle fleets aren't in tip top condition yet, and I need. Yeah, you're just a bunch of force. I mean, I could swamp them. Maybe swamp them? I don't know. I think you're kind of screwed. Let's see if you can run for home, but I doubt it. It depends on what they do with this, with this navy. Yes, we've taken that. more reinforcements for the Texas border because Mexico gave away that territory to one of our enemies they cannot be trusted never trusted yes they oh yeah they're going after them retreat <laughs> run run little fleet run yes that's right Ooh, opportunity to intercept. Abso absolutely, we want to intercept them. Blue! No. Don't intercept. All of them go into the town, and then we'll destroy them in one go. And that will be ideal. Military, they want an alliance. I mean, I've got... I mean, I'm at war with Austria, I'm at war with Prussia. Yes. You know what? I'm not even going to make you pay me. I want you to have the money, United Provinces. I fear that the terms could be better. I gave you a six grand discount. Don't act like you're not getting a bargain. This was your idea. And I effectively said, no, no, you have it. You have the money. Oh, for God's sake. You don't make me regret this already. Don't worry, once I take Britain, that'll help. And then when I start landing in on the continent and start knocking out some of the Austrian territories, that'll be pretty ideal. Then I want to keep Norway going. 15,000, oh dear. Ah, is it all because of these ships? quite significant and it's a classic example of ah oh, Dublin's unoccupied or well, the port is unoccupied anyway in we go there's an entire army there but that's fine oh, Royal Irish Regiment Swiss Grenadiers Coldstream Guards beautiful put them under siege and then we will send you guys up to reinforce because we're going to naturally Ireland Ireland's a very good target to take first when you're invading Britain in general but also it's a good Catholic nation and we have where have they gone Are they in this for they were here I'm sure they were list the agents It was you. Ah, the symbol was hidden, I see. Or maybe I was just blind and not seeing it. Send the agent north to see what's ahead of us. And the priest start converting. Yeah, have you men here? There's an Austrian war galleon. Just dispatch three, four, three. Just stand on them. Good. You're done. 
Lots of recruitment. Port Royal convert. Fortunate. I'm not going to be able to. Well, I might be able to. Yeah, it's, it's, I suppose I want to keep upgrading ports because the ports are just. Even though right now, taxes are kind of a bit of a kick in the knackers, they are just. They're good money earners. They inc improve, increase my trade routes, but increase the region wealth, increase growth per town, increase um, growth in town wealth, which is super good. But let's make sure. I mean, I suppose I want to keep my ports on the mainland up to date first. Mi señor. Tropas, adelante. Okay, then. Ah, screw it. Let's start a campaign against British North Africa. So let's put you guys... Put them under siege. Oh, it is bringing them all to bear. Interesting, even though I'm... Maybe I've got to be... I've got to be right across the, the bar. Nope, they're still there. Yep, so that's why I want... I want these guys in. Yes. That'll be a fun battle, but I want them to attack me, so I, they're on the, I'm on the defensive. Um, and then we've got four grand. Let's attack Ireland. Oh, and also, let's not forget... Put them under siege as well. We're, we're under no rush to take this territory. Eight, thousand, eight and a half grand, though. It's not bad. Global Trading Company... Fund yield lumber mill, high yield fur, trap post. Ah, oh, yes, and also, before I forget, I suppose if these guys aren't blocking that, then just mop up. I mean, it's a bunch of small ships, so they're going to take a lot of damage. Oh, it's Britain. Oh, God. Run. Britain has a pretty. Uh oh. Britain has a pretty kick-ass fleet trade blockading, you know, raiding the trade routes as well. That's going to be the heavy hit. They're the heavy hitters. Uh, I need I need some more heavy ships. I can't recruit. I'm not going to recruit anything because I need to take. I need to do some replenishment and so on after I take Dublin. So let's tank. They've got a, some reinforcements, but they're all going to be vulnerable. Irish Rifles, the Connacht Rangers, Royal Irish Regiment, ah. Clifford Crib. You're going down, Buster. Then there'll be Ireland secured. Then we'll push on and secure Glasgow. Then take London. And then British power is effectively gutted. They're relying on their North African holdings. Suddenly, um, Morocco becomes a, a strategic settlement for them as their only large city I don't unless they've taken Tunis but even so they don't get as much anywhere near as much money or production from North Af North Africa as they do from holding Britain they'll still get lots of artillery and some cool infantry units um, but Britain's just incredibly wealthy right so let's drop my put artillery up on this hill. Howitzers are going to be closer, dropping yeah, closer-ish, dropping some support. I want to maximise my firepower, so I'm not going to go into the town. My grenadiers can skirt the edge of the town. But I do want to stay outside of it. Skirmishers get ready to move after they fire the volley. All the cavalry is going to be loose on the right flank. Bring up my horse artillery. Basically, what I want is this. And even then, my horse artillery may just get... They'll be ahead of my... Artillery. 
Okay, you want to shoot at their artillery. That's why you're not doing anything. She shoots at the 14th lifeguards. Run my frontiersmen. Some of them are going to die. Two. Four. <laughs> but that's 11 guards. 11 uh, experienced cavalrymen. How it says. Are they just opening fire? Yeah, they're fine. My guards, my grenadiers are a bit of a hedge. What are you shooting at? Curious. Very curious. Who are you? Swiss guards. Looking superb. Militia, Irish volunteer infantry. They look pretty good. Coal Street Guards, there they are. They don't mess around, but they're going down. Royal Irish Regiment, I think they look great. I like that. The, the addition of that orange, effectively. Yeah, orange facings. A unit of colonial light over one actually I don't, to be honest my cavalry may end up helping protect the left flank even though I've got grenadiers here that's where my gaps are now the lifeguards have redeployed get my artillery focusing on the yeomanry there's the Connor, Connor Rangers. They look pretty good. I think this guy stands out a bit. You get my howitzers to drop shots in on those. Foot artillery. Engage the Dragoons. Make sure my line, this, the core of my line, gets into position. Just in case these guys get, get a little gallop on. Yeah, get into position. Get ready. Here they come. How it's fires landing amongst them. My infantry gets into position. Well, those guys have been in position for a while. There we go. Present against the cavalry. Excellent. Saw off. That's one unit of cavalry dealt with. Push their flank. Force artillery provide. Well, I start to target their infantry units with our foot artillery. Howitzers. One howitzer keeps sniping the lifeguards because they're heavy cavalry. There we go. This militia block is going to get chewed up and spat back out. Volley, fire, oh, a bit of a defilade here. Good hits though. I think it would turn back the head of their column. Grenadiers are going to defend this portion. These troops advance up. Yeah, as soon as they, if they pivot, pivot more, they'll start to engage my frontiersmen. They can snipe at the general's bodyguard if he gets a bit closer. Force artillery, engage. Yeah, they have 
chaps working their way through the town. Killed ten of the general staff. Keep maneuvering my light troops to keep the general in front of them. Born square. Artillery engage the general's bodyguards. Frontiersmen just get back involved. Howard says provide support to these units on the left. Don't care what that can do, what the general's doing behind our lines. I suppose I might want to bring. I like cavalry over in case he tries to to, to make it have to uh, make, start a grand and merry race and push towards my artillery. But he might just sit behind my lines. Yeah, guerrilla mercenaries are here as well. Can you jump on them? Recover the line. Force artillery target them. Okay, you guys set up. Support the engagement against the guerrilla mercenaries. They're lifeguards, but they are small in number. Let's get both my howitzers to go to work on the grenadiers. I'm not going to throw my cavalry into that yet. Yeah, infantry, just ignore that. Awesome. Better form square as well. It's time to get picked apart. Some regulars are going down. The infantry's going down. Lifeguards are checkered. Form up. How it's fires chipping away at the the uh, Grenadiers. Excellent. Push the line up. Just keep, keep the pressure up. They broke. Folks on the 90 second. Turn the guns. Engage. The cavalry is going to focus on their artillery. I need, I need to thread the needle here a bit. Oh, hello. Reinforcements. Set up. I think they're going to pursue my cavalry, which is fine. Ninety third. Yeah, I mean they're being shot in the flank as well.
excellent. What's that in front of me? Thing. Okay, you guys all move up as one formation. Cavalry get stuck in. This unit that didn't really have a purpose. Get up here. First artillery unit taken out. Let's get on to the 13th regiment of the 20 of 24 power howitzers. Get on to the 22nd regiment. There's an infantry unit wandering around in here, but okay, we may or oh, we may have scattered their reinforcements, which is nice. But let's hold and see if any more come in. Cavalry dealt with now. Effectively run straight back here. They're going to try to cut you off, it looks like, but they're not going to make it. Up, give them some good blasts. Advance the Irish regiment. Advance towards the Irish regiment. Lash volleys into the trees. I may even dismount my dragoons. They're going to provide some extra fire. Very low power charges on the howitzers. Hey, you haven't even got to get that close. Do you do fire by rank drills? Oh, they do. They're dragoon carbines. Horses. Ooh. What the hell did that? Their damn howitzer crews can fire like howitzers. Yeah, understandably you routed there. You guys get out of dodge as well. Actually, don't get uh, don't go out of dodge. Just fall back. so dumb they, that they can do that. It's really dumb. They've abandoned the guns but they've still got the actually they can still do the same amount of danger as the howitzers even when they're just infantry running around. So many dead. Biggest loss of life. All my artillery focus on the 96th because my cavalry will deal with these miscreants. See, they're about to fire with the swords that are hovering along. Future, make sure they shatter. Don't want them coming back. Destroyed a building. Shattered, charged the 22nd. The 96th are breaking, they've broken. They're, they're off. There go the artillery crews. Whew, that got a bit messy towards the end, but still. Oh, they're back. 
keep the cavalry away then, so they don't feel tempted to chase after them. This artillery shall slam home. Excellent shot. These are going to do very accurate gun crews. Except for that crew. Excellent. Victory is ours. Ireland is secured. That's already quite a big... Quite a big uh, loss for the British Empire. So let's dismantle the military governor's barracks. You will have no military rule here in Ireland. These guys are going to push up, attack the garrison at Belfast, and capture it for us. Excellent. Let's build better roads. Let's get replenishing. Replenish as much as we can. Get rid of the coaching in. Oh, uh, actually, we'll probably be fine. Although, I know, oh sorry, we definitely want to get rid of the governor's barracks. We want to get rid of the coaching inn so I can build a church school, or a Catholic church school, so I can send this agent on towards Edinburgh and London to start converting, because I don't want to build church schools in these territories. And I might get another agent here, so Ireland will be being converted, and I'll have two agents, one working in Edinburgh, one working on London. That'll be pretty awesome. One more turn to get carronades, although after that I want you to work on quicklime. There we go, more reinforcements. More trade fleets. How are you going to react now, Bren? Ah, going after the old trade fleets, I see. Auto resolve. It's always worth altering it just on some level, because it's uh, sometimes if you click withdraw, you just kind of die. So the navy, are pa their navy is panicking. Well, it looks like there might be there must be a war with Austria. Well, they're just all oh, they're just raiding our trade with Austria. They demand a military access for 10 turns for a grand. I don't see why, but yes. I don't know why you... Why you want military access for me. I'm intrigued to see why. Let's see it happen. So we have to break out of Agvictuk. They've intelligently decided not to just attack us. Russia and Austria still at war. So yeah, this is always going to happen. Uh, should I call in my allies? Yes. The Dutch refuse to join our side. So they're going to allow land. Although I, don't, I think one of their armies hasn't landed, so it's still open to be destroyed. Uh, you want an alliance... I'm about to research carronades, so that's useless, and you want me to give you free trade. No. That's a bad deal, Sweden. I'm not particularly interested in making a deal. I don't want to make the damn deal anymore. Ah. Alliance broken. Heavy first. Oh, the Enter Enterprise. <laughs> the British have a ship called the Enterprise with a Z. Heroic death. Vito Garcia. Yes. Might want to take dismantle a couple of these fleets. Select. So you're not going after Copper Bottoms. You're going to go on to Quicklime. One more turn till we get steam uh, steam engines, and that's going to really cause us things to fire up. So you're ready. I mean, you've got a few actions here that need to be taken. We can't let them get away with this treachery. See, this is the advantage of protecting all the ports. Is that now you guys embark, get over to the get over to the port, and then 
Bloop. Hey guys. A donde, Capitan? Uh, right. So I think I'm gonna want to fight some fleet actions first. You are gonna go raid St. John's because they won't be able to kick you out. You're better placed to attack that Maratha fleet rather than using my big fleet. So let's move you nearby. Because you're at full strength. You're ready to be dispatched around the world wherever it's needed. Got two identical. This guy is just zoomed in. That's his big brother. Okay, you men go into Yorktown. Okay, right. So we're still sieging there. Build a magistrate. Ah, oh, I can't build one here. That's a waste of money. I don't want to dismantle you either. No villages left. Nuts. I'll have to build one up here in Scotland somewhere. Don't upgrade the farms yet. Make sure everyone is replenishing. Preparados. Just keep you nearby. Adelante por la corona y la nación. Okay. Deal with the Maratha scourge. Teach you to attack. I'll teach you to. See, yeah, they've still got some ships, some troops ashore, uh, or um, a float rather. So we will not be looking to bring these ships into our fleet. We will be looking to cash them in because we need money. And also, start building armies to land in Ceylon. We'll teach the Marathans what it means to make war against us. Ah, oh, I brought the sloop with me. You're right, fourth, fourth, fourth. Although third should go up front, because they're the slowest. Uh, I'm going to want to be here as best I can. Oh, nuts. Alright, let's pick them again. Pick them up again. When I ungroup them, that might have screwed it all up. Sloop. The sloop just run. Sail with the wind, because they're going to try to cut us off. Well, actually, they're going to head towards us. Let's let's head towards them as for them. You got a couple of fourth rates, but lots of their ships are damaged. And but we are going to want to make sure they don't. Hey, that's Nessa on Hellred. That's it is. That's something you captured from somebody. Just head towards them, close the gap. I can see your course corrections. Ever so slightly shuffling to the right. So at the last minute they're probably going to go, HA! Which they can do. Because um, I'll cut their formation in half. Let's have a little drink. I don't mind sailing between them, because I can just blast off two broadsides just as well as they can. Although, they, your guns are actually okay. <laughs> it's not really crossing the T. Broadside left, broadside right. Three of my crew and knocked out one gun.
probably do want to kind of do this. Oh, I can't. No, I don't want to expose my stern. Jebek, I'm not gonna let him bog us down. So you get out of the group. You'll fire that one first. Secure that ship. Didn't that amassed out? Actually, can you go after the sloop? Can you go after the Jebek? These, these ships are fast, so we don't want to lose them. He surrendered. Okay, right. I'll send you guys up to try to cut them. Oh, no, you guys keep sailing forward. And these ships at the back sail to the north to cut them off. Okay, I do want to start. Okay, the Jebek surrendered. By a round shot. Your Federate is chasing down. Such a waste of a first of a first rate. Round shots. Yeah, I need to start. Ooh, hello. Round shots. Broadside left. Fifth race is back here, ready to kind of goal keep. Try to get up around behind these ships. We want to keep knocking them down because they've got lots of. Um, they've still got troops on board, so we don't want them to. Whoops! You've gone full sail into this third rate. Yeah, you know what? You're going to teach them a lesson.
surrendered. All of these ships get down here at full speed. Are you withdrawing? No, you can't. You think you're winning, which is fine. Okay, keep you going this way because you'll put some shots into our sixth ray. You've got chase guns. You've got two. I mean, I've got 164 guys. They've got 45. If I don't win that boarding, then this game is this game is rigged. booking it or are they just trying to get a better position it might be withdrawing well they should it normally says if they're withdrawing Chase guns are firing. Yeah, you are firing. So you are putting shots into this sixth rate. Take it. Yeah, I don't want them to get away. So keep coming. These ships come down this side. Yeah, I want to hobble there. I want to hobble their ships. Let's get them. Get some of these sails knocked out. Get some of these masts shot down. I don't want to do that again. So if they make a run for the border, I'm screwed. I can't chase them down. Fire as she bears. To the to the uh, sloop towards the rear. You're going to go sit in front of this ship. Excellent. Ship's routing. Put some round shot into the into the uh, hull. Sales, fucky boy. Surrender. Still gonna do round shot, broadside land. Oh, They're still pumping shots into the sloop. Let's go cut them off so they don't break away. 
175 men against 186. I never do this, but let's get these guys in with grape shot. It's a low ship. I go the higher. I mean, think. I mean, I know grape into a boarding action is a bit dicey, but yeah. I might have to turn firewall off until they're ready. My guys are attacking in single file, apparently. There you go. So we've got 73 men. 66, not bad. Right. Another giving a whiff of grape shot from the stern. Actually, might just pummel round shot him from the stern. Surrendered. Let's get everyone off the ship. <laughs> everyone get back. Nice. Oh, hey. Everyone go get that sick rate. For everybody. A handful of ships. You could have fled. You would have been safe. You could have gone home to your family and your friends. I commend your action. Now the fleet wants to have its way with you. You're just barreling in at full speed. I just wonder if this is their, somehow, is that their admiral? It might just be a general captain. Oh, one of the ships blew up and sank. One of ours. That was the sloop and our boarding your ship that did the boarding. <laughs> nice. Now you need to turn that way if you can. Yeah, you've pushed in. Wavering. Round shot. Swine. Stoically standing up there. Close victory. It wasn't close. It was a good victory. That's for darn sure. Um, we may take... Do they have any force? Did they have any force? I'm sure they did. Uh, none that we can take. So, no. We're not going to take any ships. Thank you. We'll take the five grand. And there are all those troops are now gone. So this fleet put in port... For repairs. There you go, we earned five and it cost us less than two to replenish. Right. Let's not make sure make sure we don't forget anything. Let's go after the uh, Maratha landing force. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the destruction of this Maratha landing force. Cheers everyone. <laughs>